So hi, my name is Tanya, and um, this is part of my Going Gray series. Um, I did an earlier video, but I never launched it. Um, I had uh, shoulder length hair, then I cut it to a bob, then and I was just, I think I was just starting to initially go gray, so it was like, you know, I had maybe half an inch or maybe an inch of gray hair. So um, this is my gray journey. My name is Tanya. I am going to be 50 years old um, this year. And uh, I'm not going gray because I'm turning 50. I'm going gray because I've been every color in the rainbow and um, I'm tired of coloring my hair. So let's try it. It is a color and let's try it. So I'm trying it. And I stopped coloring in January and here we are the end of May. So this is how much I have so far. Looks pretty good. Again, I had the shoulder length bob, which I decided to, I've had short hair before, I decided to cut it all off. For some that may not work, but for some it will. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, about um, things you can YouTube to help you make your decision, excuse me, whether you wanna cut your hair or not. But the first thing I'd like to say is, um, I didn't really want to cut my hair short, but at the chin length, it would have took 16 months. And actually my hair was pretty fried, to be honest with you. When I was out in the sun and when I was actually shooting the video in the light, I went, oh my gosh, my hair is so fried. It just was dry and it had split ends. I'm one of those people, my hair is fine. And so I don't think I can actually grow it past here because it starts to break off um, anyway so one thing about growing gray is you'll have to do some wearing a hat or pull your hair back if you have long shoulder length hair I would recommend wearing your hair back in a ponytail for the duration or whatever uh, because when you pull it back you'll see you'll see the gray see that how much more white it looks than when you have the gold so if you wear it back away from your face, that's one trick that you can do um, to, to kind of camouflage. Another thing you can do is you can buy a spray from Sally Beauty Supply. They have colored sprays for the roots and just for whatever. They have a white one. You can either spray it all white to see if you like white hair. It's just like a hairspray with color in it. Or you can... Um, use L'Oreal root touch up and spray the roots and cover up the roots for at least three, four, five, six months. Even at this length, I could probably spray it and it would work. It's great stuff, L'Oreal uh, root touch up or any one of those and use that or wear hats. So there's different ways to go through the process. Um, I light started lightening my hair. This is my normal dark brown. This is all natural virgin hair back here. It's a slightly gray here but I did put blonde in the front. I didn't do my whole head blonde, just around my face. So when the gray started coming in, it wasn't such a drastic color change. So that's another tip you could do. Put some blonde streaks, go to your hairdresser, get some blonde streaks put in um, as light as she can get them. And um, even just if she does it around the face, it'll be better than nothing, especially if you have dark hair, if you already have blonde hair and you're going gray, well then you're pretty much okay. Medium hair, I don't know, you'll have to decide. If you have black hair, you'll have to decide if that's right for you. Personally, if I had black hair and I was going gray, I'd probably use the Root Touch Up spray to cover that up because it works pretty good. Um, okay, so then, um, so there are some days, I'm gonna warn you right now, there are some days where I looked in the mirror and I went, ugh. I don't know if I can take this. Uh, my sister's a hairdresser. She said, Tanya, if you don't like it, you can just go down the store and get a box of color and throw it on and, you know, cover it up. So there is always that. Um, but for you ladies who have longer hair and you're in it to win it and there's a long commitment there, just know that you're going to have days where you just go, what am I doing? God, I look so old or it's making me look pale or whatever that's why i do recommend buying white spray at sally beauty supply and just spraying it all over your head and um you know just seeing if you like the color and i'll 
try to post pictures of when I did that so you could see what that looks like. Um, but I do have to say, honestly, there will be days where you will not like it. Maybe around your period, you'll be going, oh my God, I look so terrible. But you know what? I have actually enjoyed the process once I bleached the tips out and everything. Um, it's like diamonds in the sunlight. It's just like right here, it just looks white. and But in the sunlight, it's like beautiful. Now, some of you are going to have different colors. Some people are going to have more of a battleship gray. Some people are going to have a more of a salt and pepper. I have a lot of white up front, and then it's going to be dark in the back. And I have a little gray coming in here. So you have to decide. So with that said, let's get to choosing a haircut. Um, if you want to go short, because you are not into waiting a year to a year and a half or two years for your hair to grow out. Um, I would go to YouTube, Ally Art, A-L-Y-A-R-T. She's really cute, really stylish, really sweet. She does a great video on hair for your body type. And you may get addicted to her other videos as well because once you do the body type thing, you see how she get you into like are you a classic you know what style are you she has other videos and I recommend watching all of those as well so get a comfy spot on the couch and get your little and watch her she's great um, so that's hair for your body type then another one you could google on your search bar uh, within within YouTube is the best short hairstyles for your face shape from ladies home journal and that way you'll see what your face shape. Um, there's also one for your body type. Like if you're bigger, you don't want really short hair. If you're, you know, so you gotta kinda, you know, I, I'm 5'4", 130 pounds, so I can wear a little shorter hair. But if you feel big and you feel like uh, really short hair for you, you know, there's no rules. There's people with such pretty faces out there some of uh, you ladies who are bigger uh, you know I would just go for it because you're beautiful I've seen people just have a radiant radiant beingness about them and it really doesn't matter just go for whatever you like whatever feels good and if hair feels good then have long hair for you know certainly do and be uh, exactly how you want you know that makes you feel good and comfortable um okay so okay so then the next thing i wanted to cover was makeup you're going to be changing your makeup palette um and your clothing colors um i caught on to the whole white thing as soon as i started seeing more and more gray like you can i mean right now i'm wearing a gray sweatshirt but when i wear white it looks really cute so i bought like a jean jacket i actually got it from a thrift store um a jean jacket a white jean jacket it was actually in remarkable condition for eight dollars it was a cold water creek and i thought oh and it's so cute um so play with white if you have a lot of white um even with pale skin i've got very pale skin um but there's always bronzers too if you start to feel a little too washed out so play with that so what I did with my eyeshadow um, oh no what I did with my eyeliner was I got the wet and wild show that to you it's the wet and wild um, eyeliner and it, long wearing eye pencil and it's white and it has some sparkles in it it's really pretty so I don't know if you can see but I usually don't wear eyeliner underneath my eyes because I feel it closes them down but and you've probably seen this technique with eyeshadow but you put this white right here see that I don't know if you can see that and it like brightens your whole eye makes your eyes just pop it's wonderful and the color on this is a 262 to my yang couple bucks at the swall green CBS wet and wild awesome um, so that's a little trick and you could pr you can um, line your water line with this too I should do that for you and it makes you look really well rested and so you can line your water line with this too and it will make you look really well rested see that just bright 
it's it's a it's a really cool tip trick to to use okay so the next thing is i used to have well i still have it obviously uh i had this eyeshadow shadow excuse me palette in it's cover girl and this one is in sheer nudes number 265 i've used the poop out of it i love the taupe i love the shell color it's like a really pretty uh it's not too okay i'm approaching 50 so um matte's probably good but you want to this is slight shimmer it's not a real bright this one's real pretty too it's like a real light color it's just really pretty and this one here i'm testing it on my hand it's like that it's like a shell it's like really pretty and this color of course was one of my favorites so if you have light fair skin it's a good palette but with the gold hair it was great but now and i've used bought many many of these every time i run out i go buy another one but now i'm switching so that was that um that was a sheer nudes 265 cover girl so i bought a cover girl again um because i like their i like their eyeshadows they don't go on too thick they're not highly pigmented but they kind of go on more natural actually i would have to say um, so this one is um, Smoke Nudes in 286, and it's got a nice little light color here, and it's got this color I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing these two colors today. I'm wearing all over the lid, and then this I got in my crease. This is a nice gray, perfect. It does have, see that? does have see that so it has some shine but it's not overly so this one's beautiful too that's kind of like a plum color show that to you a little closer nice nice colors really nice not mattes but not super duper pearlescent either but um they'll do so that's what i changed i changed to the grays and the plums and of course purples and any cool colors you're you're probably going to switch over um, then for my cheeks, I got the CoverGirl Cheekers, and um, I used to wear like a really bright pink, but I didn't want such a bright pink. So this one is kind of an in-between. It's not peach. It's not super pink. It's not really mauve. It's kind of like middle of the road. Then I was, I was using the Wet n Wild Champagne, which was too bronzy. Um, although sometimes I like that one now this is kind of a cool color but it's kind of in between all the colors I'm wearing it today it's not too pink it's not too bright it's not too shiny it's not too this too that so this is the cover girls cheekers in 183 natural twinkle it's got a little bit but it doesn't have a little high sparkly or anything like that on it so um so that's what i switched to for my colors and my wardrobe colors have changed i like reds a little more than i did before um you know nice primary blues look good white looks great black looks great shades all shades of gray look great i changed my eye color glasses these are black frames now i had you know i had my brown brown frame so you know they still look good you know Tortoise still looks good, tortoise shell, um, but the black frames are good. Um, so you will be changing. If you wear glasses, you'll change the color, you'll change your eyeshadow. You might even change your um, brow color. Um, I'm using taupe. I'm using Elf's taupe. Taupe is good. Taupe is not gray. Taupe is not brown. It's kind of like taupe, you know. It's, it's a neutral brown so to speak so it's not you know cool nor warm it's kind of in between so i would go for a taupe rather than going for a gray eye pencil with might make you look um a little fakey looking because nobody actually has really gray gray eyebrows really um although i am getting gray in there but when you use an eye pe pencil it kind of covers up the gray unless you have a lot prominent so um so taupe i would recommend taupe or blonde uh color are the colors you want to kind of go for with that um so anyway um thank you so much for watching um stay tuned for more on the gray what what i'm going to be doing next with the gray and see you know my last couple months 
that I have to wait before this is all nice and gray. And uh, yeah, and maybe I'll share some more tips and tricks with you. But thanks for watching, and um, yeah, thank you, YouTubers. All right, bye.